I'm Danny Gurry, and you've tuned in to Good Morning Frederick. It's a podcast, well, about Frederick. Everything, the people, the businesses, the nonprofits, and the cool stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Good Morning Frederick. Good morning, Frederick. I, I'm not quite sure you want me guiding your way to Today, today and yesterday, I'm a little, I'm getting crazy with the planning of our 100th show, which is coming up on Tuesday. Anyway, good morning, Frederick. Today is Wednesday, August 24th. I'm your host, Danny Gurry. All right, I'm telling you, I'm getting very excited, but there's a lot of planning going into the 100th show. It is... I think going to be amazing. And not only the 100th show, but the three following shows uh, are going to be really fun as well. So you're not going to want to miss it. I'd love to get as many people watching on the 100th show as possible. But let me tell you what is happening today's show. Today, Wednesday, August 24th. All right. Uh, Chris Michaels from WFMD's Morning News Express will join me with news, weather, and sports. Plus, I have your giveaways. Then we go over what's happening in Frederick with the best calendar in all of the land. And then I chat with friend and Key City Rotarian, Amanda Hathaway. Now, you might remember we chatted with her not so long ago about her company, HR Answer Box. Well, she's also a children's book author. She wrote The Pie Spy, and they uh, had a little launch yesterday, and I stopped by early to say hi to her there. Then Kat and Chris joined me to talk about the fourth annual Troy Fest event that is coming up in September. And then a new segment alert, so excited. Uh, Local Compass, your guide to worldwide travel, sponsored by Antietam World Travel Service. That is on today. I'm very excited about this. It's going to be really interesting, great content, especially if you like to travel anywhere. And then I chat with Hathen, the owner of Fratelli's in Middletown, to tell me all about the refresh that is happening. Yes, they are temporarily closed, but they are reopening very, very soon. So, um, again, save the date. The 100th show is August 20th. We're just four shows away from that 100. Hard to believe. Head to Good Morning Frederick's Facebook page and share the 100th show post, please. My goal is to have the most people to date watching that show. The debut show, April 1st, got more than 7,400 views. Okay, that's a big number. Right now, our shows average about 12 to 1,500 views. So we need to do some work. I think people were trying to watch to see if I screwed up or something. I don't know. But yes, a lot of people did watch that first show. So I'd love for a lot of people to watch the 100th show. Obviously, I'd love everybody to watch every show. But if you can spread the word, maybe we'll be uh, educating some people who don't realize this show is happening. I do run into those people every single day. And some people say, oh, yeah, I've heard about it, but what is that? I'm not really sure. Well, the show is all about you, Frederick. So please tell a friend, get the community watching. I'm here to uh, highlight local business, nonprofit, talk to people doing exceptional things. And uh, I do try to push as many people as possible to the YouTube channel because it is the most stable. Uh, We haven't had any issues, knock wood, which I'm doing right now, uh, streaming to YouTube. So occasionally Facebook is weird and we have some issues and people can't find it. But just so you know, we stream to eight places every single morning and... uh, You know, everybody can watch where they are in the moment, which is fantastic. All right. Good morning, Frederick Merch. We would love to see you this evening. We'll be at 401 North Market Street from 5 to 8. It is the downtown Frederick Night Market. You can pick up your 20-ounce travel mug, T-shirt, hat, sticker, or magnet. 
when you purchase, I use the proceeds to donate to local causes, which is, you know, it's giving back. You get some great merch. I get to give back to local charity. We support the community. It is all this lovely cycle. All right. And uh, we really would love to see you this evening. Mama Cone and I will be at the shop with Shannon and Tara. I think Shannon organized some live music to happen. There are adult beverages as well. So good excuse to come by and say hello. All right, let's get this hump day show started. Good morning, Frederick would not be here, or not as easily anyway, without our show sponsor, We Help You Move. Whether you're moving across the street or somewhere around the country, Nicholas and his team of moving experts can make that process easier. We Help You Move is veteran owned, and Nick is a great supporter of the Frederick community, coming to the rescue uh, for lots of things like local events and moving help and all of that great stuff. If you're moving, if you're thinking about moving, maybe you're packing up an office or maybe you have to move back into an office and you got lots of stuff, contact We Help You Move and Nick will be happy to help you. Also, I'm telling you, he is amazing. So if you see somebody asking about, hey, do you recommend a mover? You can just say, hey, Good Morning Frederick recommends We Help You Move. They did move me from our townhouse to storage and from our storage unit to the home we're in now. So We Help You Move is uh, online and you can visit them there. All right, let's talk about, oh, I didn't even get my giveaways thing going. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> the cat's trying to come in. All right, giveaways this week i've got a pair of tickets to climbing for a cause which is saturday if you want those tickets text cause to 888-465-2944 888-465-2944 how about two tickets to troy fest we're going to be talking to cat today troy fest is september 7th huge music festival Tons of bands all day long, plus Ja Works, uh, reggae regional reggae band. Uh, they've traveled all over the place, of course, but really great band to see. Uh, how about five Maryland Lottery scratch-offs? Yes, I'll give those to you as well. You're going to want to text MDL and head to mdlottery.com to see all the available games. And of course, please play responsibly. I've got a Tree Trekkers three-hour adventure tickets as well for you. If you want to text Tree, that one is good for the entire season. And if you'd like to go see the Frederick Keys, I have four tickets to any regular season Keys game. Um, and that you just want to text Keys. All right. I think he has popped in. So let me bring in uh, Chris Michaels to give us some local news, weather, and sports. Well, hello. <laughs> Why do these embarrassing things have to happen to me when I'm about to go on air with you? Like, it all tangled up in here. And... <laughs> there you go. I, I, you got another blooper to add to your 100 show. Yeah. I, you know, I have hats in my daggone car four times yesterday. I tried to head over there, but I had last-minute interviews. You know, you got to be there when the stuff is happening. You know how that is. So I didn't get a chance to drop them off, but they are in my car. I have some time this morning because I am picking up limited edition 100th show t-shirts. Nice. Yes. And I'm going to be talking about how 
our viewers can get one of those, but I am also going to drop you off a 100th show shirt. Yes. All right. So I'll definitely, I'm going to wear that all around Frederick that day. Yes. I, I, I just have to say, however, I have yet to receive any WFMD or sister station WFRE merch, but you know, I'm, I'll wait. I'll oh, wait that, patiently. That, that that's only because I was waiting for Bob to autograph the shirt that I autographed. <laughs> See, for you, Dan, you don't just get WFMD merge, and we don't care about the the WFRE station. But uh, <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, by the way. We love WFRE. You don't just get the merch, Danny. You get the autograph of uh, ah. Bob Miller and uh, Chris Michaels merch. So there I you love go. it. Speaking of Bob Miller, I'm a little upset with him today. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You know what he did? We were working today in the studio and. All show long, he was complaining that the glare uh, from uh, the light from my head was blinding him. <laughs> oh, that's all I heard all day long. Chris, I can't see because of the glare off of your head. Chris, I can't see for the glare off of your head. All day long, that's all I, all I heard. Oh, uh, right. well, you know, you're actually act good for this show because for some reason your head is cut off. So I'm not really <laughs> sure why what's happening with the there's, camera. Oh, God, there's that glare. There's that glare <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. I guess Bob Miller was right. There is that big. Yeah, we need to powder you up like they do on TV. <laughs> That's a, hold on. Bob Miller is always right. He's oh, always right. there he is. It was giving me a heart attack. <laughs> like, we don't have enough bloopers of me on the show. Now we have another one. Buddha. Buddha. Oh, if we rub it through. I know. Well, I'll have to rub, maybe some good luck for you there. I can't hear him, but that's okay. Or, he, hi, Danny. Hi. Bob said he can't hear you. That would be because I have my headphones on. Uh, oh, now, well, I am saying hello back. Okay. I'll see you this morning. Wait, I'm going to oh, stop by if you're still there. Oh, da Danny said she loves uh, hearing me on the Morning News Express. <laughs> I do too. That's, that's what I she do said. I love J it. Just me, Danny? I, yeah, yes, that's what. Okay, thank you, Danny. I don't make bad news. I just read it. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. All right, Danny. I guess we'll get to news. Okay, maybe. All, we'll right. That. All right. Uh, let's see here. The Frederick County Sheriff's Office has released the uh, body cam video from a shooting incident on March 18th, 2022, in the early morning hours. Deputy First Class Christian uh, Lucente was in his patrol vehicle attempting to initiate a traffic stop along Interstate 270 and Route 85. Authorities say the driver was traveling at a high rate of speed and was suspected of driving under the influence. The driver refused to stop and the uh, chase began. The pursuit continued off of I-270 to the Kingsbrook community where the driver uh, where the driver being pursued identified as Lookman Kali Alba Albolago Bello of Hagerstown stopped his vehicle and bailed out on Castle Court. A foot chase began. During that time, shots were fired. The sheriff's office says that Bello fired at uh, uh, Deputy Lucente, and Lucente returned fire, striking Bello three times. The incident took place at the 6900 block of Rock's Court. Lucente and the other deputies and bystanders on the scenes were not hurt. Again, just goes to show you how our wonderful law enforcement consistently takes their life in their hands to protect us. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Every single day. And the audio of that you can hear uh, on WFMD, uh, on our, on our WFMD.com and also at our radio station at Free Talk 930 WFMD after you are done watching Good Morning Frederick. There you go. A suspect has been arrested in connection with a homicide in Montgomery Village on Monday. Um, Oliver Alexis Perez Fierro, 20, of Montgomery Village is charged with first degree murder and use of a, a handgun in a crime of violence. He's been taken into custody. Uh, police there on March, uh, police there on Monday, August 12th at around 11.38 a.m. Officers were dispatched at 19300 block of Clubhouse Road for a shooting. They found a 21-year-old man suffering apparent gunshot wounds. Despite efforts to save his life, the man was pronounced dead at the scene. So there you go. Uh, another uh, violence going on here, unfortunately. And, and um, here I go with the sad news again. But uh, I do want to you know, reiterate again with the first story about how our law enforcement is so important to us and, and um, how they do uh, take the life in their own hands to, to make sure we are safe. So, Yes. All right. Take a look at weather. Uh, it is beautiful out there, Danny. Currently, wow. uh, yeah, it is sunny out there. Going to get to a high of 86. 
Uh, and then tonight, clear sky, a low of 62. Tomorrow, sunny along with a few afternoon clouds. Don't see any rain in sight. And tomorrow night, a few clouds, low of 64. And I want to tell you real quick, because uh, I know this would apply to you And Good Morning Frederick. So we had Barbara Hiller on today on the show on the Morning News Express, who is the marketing director for the Weinberg Center. Ah, I, oh yes, I haven't talked to Barbara in a long time. She, uh, they've got some, you know, she came to kind of tell us uh, what they've got going on this year as far as the Weinberg Center goes. And me being a big music fan, they've got some great stuff coming up, including the uh, classic albums live, uh, Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. So they've yes. got some rock stuff coming up. They've got some doo-wop stuff coming up. Um, great shows. And I'm really excited uh, this year to see uh, some of these shows at the Weinberg Center. Yes, me too. Remember, you have friends in low places <laughs> that would like to go. <laughs> well, Danny, uh, you know, I have nobody to go with me to see Pink Floyd. So, uh, you know, hey, I, I could say, wish you were here. Yeah. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> but I'm bump. I love it. Genius. I know. It's okay. You don't have to say it. All right, my friend. Well, on that note, I will see you a little bit later this morning after the show. But uh, actually, we... I'm leaving early today, Danny. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, I'm, as soon as we get done, I'm leaving. Got a doctor's appointment today. So, uh, oh, you, know. you guys and your health issues. Well, Goodness I'm, gracious. I'm All right. My... Well, I'm leaving them for you at the front desk. I'm going to my doctor to see if I can do anything about this glow that's consistently. <laughs> Off the top of my head, maybe you can prescribe me something. I don't know. Good luck. Thank All right. Friend. We will see you tomorrow morning. All right. Take care. Hey, take Arnie, care. here's the reason he why. Again. Here's the reason why his hair is so shiny and his head is so shiny. He's using this. <laughs> what in the world does he have to use that for? Look at it. It's like well, they're polish it up. With makeup here, so I have to use that. Oh, gracious. All right. Have a great day. We'll see Take you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. My fellow Key City Rotarian and owner of HR Answer Box, Amanda Hathaway, can now add children's author to her impressive resume. I stopped by Give Rise Studio yesterday afternoon to celebrate her official book launch. Here she is, Amanda Hathaway. You may recognize this woman. This is Amanda Hathaway. Had you on virtual while you were uh, vacationing, but now you're back in Frederick. We're at Give Rise Studio. You wrote a book. I did a children's book. I had no idea until everybody's like posting that they bought this book. What? What was the inspiration of the children's book? So it was actually my grandma. She had lots of secrets and things that were unexplained. And jokingly one day, I referred to her as the pie spy because she was an accomplished baker. She actually owned her own restaurant at one point in time. And then after she sold that, she uh, baked pies and sold them to local restaurants in the area where she lived. And so I called her the pie spy, it kind of stuck. It was a joke within my family. And one day I said, I'm gonna write a book about grandma. And I think some people thought I might not do it, but <laughs> when I put my mind to something, well, it always happens. <laughs> I was gonna say, challenge accepted, right. of course, that you would have said. So, I mean, what, what kind of secrets did grandma have? Any you can share? Well, <laughs> yes. So my dad and my uncle were both born in other cities. So my dad was born in 1950. My uncle was born in the late 40s. My uncle was born in Gulfport, Mississippi, and my dad was born in Chicago. And we have no family there. And back in the late 40s and 50s, women who were that pregnant <laughs> normally didn't travel. And so yeah. it was weird to me. Then grandma went missing for a few years. And at one point I learned that Julia Child, also an accomplished baker, was in fact a spy. I was at the Smithsonian in DC and there was an exhibit and I learned all about it. You can Google it. It's a fantastic story. That's so then wild. kind of got my creative yes. juices flowing yes. and I came up with a story that grandma was a That's spy. awesome. <laughs> so how hard is it to write a children's book? 
Well, <laughs> writing the story is not all that hard, but then yeah. you have to find an illustrator, which I did. I found yeah. a lovely woman who is located outside of Atlanta. Her name's Given Sharp. She was a dream to work with, but it's a process, right? Yes. I mean, it's definitely an art project of yeah. sorts. Yeah. And after I wrote the story, it took probably about four months for Given to do all of the artwork. And then we went back and forth on revisions. And then there's a process to get it uh, listed by Amazon and so it's a whole thing oh my goodness yeah. so is this considered like self-publishing okay so you self-publish yes. you put it up on Amazon <laughs> I know that there are at least 50 people locally <laughs> who have purchased theirs um, so that's really exciting yeah so we launched two weeks ago and we're actually closer to about 400 copies sold so far yeah I I'm really excited about that because and grateful for all yes. the, the people that purchase copies. But for most books that are self-published, they don't even sell 100 copies in their lifetime, much less in oh. a two-week period. Wow, yeah. okay, so the Pie Spy Grandma's Secret Recipe. Yeah. I love it. I love the illustrations, they're <laughs> so good. You're having a launch right now at yes. Give Rise Studio. Mm -hmm. Anything planned coming up for future marketing or releases for this? Is there a part two? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> never say never, never, right? Never say never. What do you? What does your family think about the book? Yeah, they're super excited and oh, very supportive. I bet they are. Mm -hmm. All right, Amanda Hathaway, get the book. Go to Amazon, The Pie Spy, Grandma's Secret Recipe. And too bad you're not here to have the pie that is here, but uh, maybe another time for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, if you get yourself a copy, I can get you in touch with the author to get it autographed. She was signing them for um, all the people who came last night and uh, really proud of her and uh, wish her all the success with that as well. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, then it's all the events in Frederick from the best calendar in the region, and, the, and I'm gonna talk to Kat and Chris about the fourth annual Troy Fest. Hathen tells me about the refresh happening at Fratelli's, and Local Compass, your guide to worldwide travel, sponsored by Antietam World Travel Service, is all coming up right after this quick break. Real estate goddess, yeah. She's the one to get you there. Homes and dreams of perfect hair. Yeah. Shadow family beyond compare. shop is open. Join Habitat for Humanity of Frederick County, Maryland for the 9th Annual Blue Crabs and Blueprints Celebration on Saturday, August 24th at the Walkersville Carnival Grounds. This family-friendly day includes crabs from JB Seafood, food trucks, live music, and yard games. This fun-filled day supports Habitat's home repair and home build programs, making a difference year-round right here in Frederick County. Crabs must be pre-ordered by August 19th, so don't delay. Get your crabs now for this Maryland-style crab feed. All right, now let's find out what is happening in the great town of Frederick. Happening in Frederick is sponsored by Intense Barbecue, family owned barbecue food truck and catering company. They cook in small batches to ensure the food is as fresh as it can possibly be. Find them at IntenseBarbecue.com, I-N-number-one-zero-S-E-B-B-Q.com. Satisfy your meat tooth with Intense Barbecue. All right, if you want to know what's happening in Frederick, you got to go to our calendar which you can easily find at promocircus.com. Let me go ahead and get that up. 
And if you want your event to uh, appear in the calendar, or if you would like to uh, have me talk about your event, just email me at everythingfredericlive at gmail.com. All right, let's take a look at what is going on. Okay, big thing for this evening, 5 to 8, it is the night market happening downtown Frederick, 5 to 8 p.m., Almost a, a ton of merchants. I don't know how many exactly, but a ton of merchants will be open this evening from 5 to 8 p.m. Many are offering adult beverages for you, uh, but most important is 401 North Market Street. So I would love for you to stop by. Mama Cone and I will be there this evening. And if you show me that you have subscribed on YouTube, you can choose to have a Maryland Lottery scratch off, a pair of tickets to the Keys, or if I've got them remaining, a pair of tickets to a Live at Five. We'd love to see you this season at all of those things. Also, if you purchase a Good Morning Frederick t-shirt or tumbler or hat, you will get a free tank top. That is a $25 value, okay? Now that is while supplies last, I believe. Uh, we, I've got a small stack available still, so come out tonight, 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock, 401 North Market Street in downtown Frederick. Come to our shop first and then check out the rest of what is happening downtown. All right, Thursday, of course, is Alive at 5. Alive at 5 is happening from 5 to 8 p.m., this week, it is Daisy Road, which is 70s Disco and more. Uh, it is a great event, and if you're not over 21 or you got kids with you, sit over by the library on the hill, bring a blanket or some chairs, and listen to the great music. You can do that as well. Also, uh, Thursday, 5 to 8, is uh, the African Americans of Excellence exhibit it is on display from 20 from this year, 2024. You're going to be able to see the artwork, um, and they'll show some of the videos that were created last year for some of the honorees. They are also announcing the 2025 honorees; those will who will be honored in February, and uh, that event is will be coming up soon. So. Um, you're going to want to go. Plus, a dollar from every beverage purchased will be donated to the 2025 African Americans of Excellence event. So if you want to head over to Rack Brewing, you can do that as well on Thursday. On Friday, you can go get your fresh produce at not only a lot of our farmer's markets, but every single day from 11 to 5.30. So if you can't make it to some of these farmer's markets because the times are weird and you're doing some other stuff or the times are limited, Fingerboard Farm Market has fresh produce daily, 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. They had a whole bunch of tomatoes that looked amazing, and you can go pick it up there right on Fingerboard Road. There is uh, Boots and Brews happening at Liquidity Ale Works in Mount Airy on Friday. It is a free event for all ages. They are having some boot scooting lessons, uh, which should be fun. So if you want to head over to Liquidity, that's a cool brewery there in uh, Mount Airy. All right, Saturday Tons of events going on. You're going to want to plan out your day. Start at Climbing for a Cause. Go get your tickets right now, treetrekkersmd.com. This is a great fundraiser for the American Cancer Society, Relay for Life of Frederick County. They've got axe throwing and food trucks, and McClintock Distillery will be there. And if you just want to hang out, listen to the music, and, and have some fun at Cornhole, you can do that. The, the ticket for that or the donation, the donation for that is just $5. So you can donate. That goes direct to American Cancer Society. 
Uh, let's see. They also, you can, um, they're signing stories for babies happening at the Urbana Regional Library on Saturday at 1015. That's kind of cool. I'm telling you, uh, signing for our babies when our kids were born before they could really talk was, oh, so, so great. They're very, uh, kids are so smart, to be honest. And they were able to tell us stuff that they couldn't speak, which was awesome. Okay, August Toberfest is uh, in Boonesboro Saturday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. That sounds like a lot of fun. Anytime you can uh, mix Oktoberfest with fun in August, I'm all for it. Uh, also, on Saturday, uh, you can t check out, there's a bunch of uh, carnivals still happening. Alpha Fireman's Carnival, Rocky Ridge Fireman's Carnival is happening. Uh, there's a free family drive-in this Saturday evening at 8.30 at the 7th Street Shopping Center. They are showing Super Mario Brothers. So if you want to check out a free movie with the kids in the car, you can do that. And then on Sunday, it is the Urbana Library Farmer's Market from 10 until 1.00. Um, you can go there. I've been there before. That's a pretty good farmer's market. And I think our friend Rhonda from Raise the Bar is there, or maybe every other uh, week is she there too. And then stay tuned because tomorrow I will be announcing specifically what we're doing on Sunday from noon to two. I've got these 100 limited edition 100th show t-shirts. I am going to be doing something with them on Sunday. So plan to come by the home of everything Frederick from noon until two. And um, I'm trying to figure out right now if I ask for just a donation for the shirt so that I can donate to a local charity or uh, if we do something else with that. So keep it's going to be something it's going to be reasonable but you're going to want to come out to the home of everything frederick on sunday from noon to two i've got to sit down tonight and figure out exactly what i want to do but it's going to be fun and the limited edition shirts are awesome special tees did them and i picked them up today so uh that's going to be a lot of fun you want to dance for the cows the flying cows you could be a cowbell the dance auditions are Sunday from 6 to 9 p.m. at 24-7 Dance Studio. There is a link in the calendar to register. If you can't make it on this Sunday, just reach out to them uh, to let them know uh, that you'd like to join us. It's so fun. We have a great time during the season. Only 12 games uh, from March to June, and it's it's a great time. And then just keeping in mind uh, some stuff coming up next week. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Well, so I guess, is school back in next week? When does school st First day of school, Wednesday, August 21st. All the kiddos will be going back to school, and we look forward to seeing all of those first day of school photos that uh, you guys will be posting on social. Really, really love that. All right, let's talk about who is doing good in our neighborhood. All right, doing good in the neighborhood, sponsored by The Healing Storm. Shannon and her team strive to create an environment where you're seen, heard, and valued. The Healing Storm focuses on alternative holistic healing methods like massage therapy, Reiki, lymphatic massage. They even have a healing journey program. Go to thehealingstorm.com to get all the details. You can even schedule an appointment right there. The Healing Storm, a place to unwind and recharge. I love it. All right, Kat's husband, Troy, loved hockey and live music. And when he passed away in 2020, she honored his wishes of throwing a party to celebrate. I want that too, to celebrate his life. And Troy Fest was born. It is now grown. And in their fourth year, they're bringing Job Works to the farm on September 7th. So let's chat with Kat. On North Market Street, I'm with Kat and Chris. 
and we are talking Troy Fest. Yes. It's back around again. Year four. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, here yeah. we go. I mean, what started as a celebration yeah. for my late husband is now a full-on music festival. That's awesome. Raising money for music education for Frederick County. Yeah. And this year is bigger and better than ever. We have some great things. Um, Liquidity Ale Works of Mount Airy and Old Mother, which is just two, a few blocks up here. Yeah. Old Mother Brewery just started brewing our beer in honor of Troy called All For Troy. Okay. F O R E. He was a golfer. Okay. And that'll be ready August 28th. Very Our nice. event is a week later, uh, about a week later on September 7th at the AMVETS post to the farm, right near Tree Trekkers. Yeah. And that's a huge venue. It has a huge covered pavilion, lots of parking. We bring a huge stage. We have bands starting at noon from the Rock School, the Frederick Rock School. They're a great partner with us. Mm -hmm. And then we lead into more adult bands. We have the Dirty Middle playing, which is a great local Frederick band. They do like blues, rock blues. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, Lots of rock school bands. Black Locust came out of the rock school. Okay. They are amazing. These kids are young, like 19, 20 year olds, and just putting it out there. Yeah. Then we roll into um, Voodoo Rocks, which is another Frederick favorite, and they do grunge 90s covers, and they have a great following. And then we end our day with Jaw Works. They're okay. our headliner. So we're yeah. ending with reggae. We get a little bit of everything at Troy Fest. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about your husband a little yeah. bit. Um, let's go to the very first Troy Fest. Yeah, and the let's very talk first Troy him. Fest. He had a lengthy illness and mm. you know, we were fortunate in that regard to be able to plan and talk about things and he died at the end of um, December in 2020. He passed away and we had always said, you know, and I had always said, you know, when that time comes, I'm having a big party for you. Yeah. And he was full on. He loved his beer. He loved his music. Our son's a drummer for the rock school. And we had been working with this nonprofit, Rhythm Changes, since my son was six. And he's 15 now. Yeah. So um, they kept us playing music all during COVID. And we were at all these breweries in Frederick that were doing outdoor music. And it kept us going. Yeah. So um, when Troy passed away, you know, I called Chris and I said, we have to plan a party. But because of COVID, it has to be outside. And she said, what about Amvets? Mm. You know, the farm. He loved it there. We did shows with the rock school there. Okay. And with Rhythm Changes. Yep. And it was, it was perfect. Okay. And so that's where we started. Year one was invitation only. We had great food trucks, great bands represented from the, um, the Frederick Rock School and Rhythm Changes. And they wouldn't let us pay them. Aww. And I said, what can we do? And it was such a great event. Everyone said, please do it again. And I said, let's start a music scholarship. So we started the music scholarship in Troy's name. Mm. And it can be found at rhythmchanges.org, Troy Suddeth Music Scholarship. Yep. And um, we started the scholarship in year two. We started adding some sponsors. You know, I didn't even know what a sponsor was <laughs> or how I did. And, and, right. um, and they came through for us. Yeah. And, um, and each year it's just grown. Last year we added vendors, we added the breweries, we added liquidity and old mother. Um, what else did we add last year? Games. We just made it a real festival. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this is year four. And what was nice during the event last year, people came up to me and said, how can we be a part of this next year? Oh, cool. Billy and Keith from the brewery said, we want to make you a beer. Oh, very so nice. sponsors came to us this yeah. year. Yeah, and um, so when yeah. they make the beer, what does that mean? Do they sell it here at Old Mother, or are you just having it at the event? Um, probably both. Okay. Yeah, they will be selling it on tap at the event, but you can also buy it in cases, in cases you or know, probably packs. Four, packs, four packs, however they're going to, yeah. you know, put it together. But yeah, the beer will be be ready to go. And um, it has a link on the label for rhythmchanges.org so people awesome. can learn more about what we do. I mean, we really do keep kids playing music. Yep. And the goal of Troy Fest and what we added this year is to help pay for music lessons, music camps, um, if someone needs an instrument. So we this year we added the college scholarship. Very nice. And the applications were due August 1st. Yep. And we're reviewing them now and we'll present the first recipient of the Troy, Troy Suddeth Music Scholarship this year at the event. So this will be the first the one first you've given? The first actual presented yeah. in public. Nice. Yeah, we've been giving money to help yeah. pay for things quietly yes. um, for families in need, but this is the first 
you know, this was like every year, what do you want to do with it? And I'm like, I want to give back to college. Money. Yeah. It's so expensive to it get is. those kids yeah. out there. And so we've got some great applications that we're reviewing. Cool. We've and been talking about yeah. it every day on the show oh, and awesome. getting people to apply if they're interested or let kid, you know, yeah. families know that this is available. Yeah. So how much will the scholarship be? Do you know? It's $500. 500. Okay. And they can apply that to whatever they need to fill right. their gas tank to buy books. Right. But the, the other option or the other thing that they'll be receiving is Omega Sound Studios in Rockville is donating recording time. Oh, wow. So this is a music scholarship. So we wanted the applicants to be Somehow studying music involved, in some right. capacity. It didn't mean they have to be going to a music college. Right. But, you know, whether they were just creating music on their own and taking a few years off or, or however. And yeah. we have some amazing applications. And they had to be a Frederick County resident. Yeah. Because what we raise goes back to Frederick County. Yeah, we yeah. love that. So yeah. tickets. Tickets for Troy Fest are available online. Mm -hmm. How much is it to go? Um, Eventbrite, we have a link at Troy Fest 2024 if you search that. Right now, tickets online are $10. So okay. that's a discount. At the gate, it'll be $15. Okay. So you make a savings. But we also have a four pack that you can buy right now online for $30 plus, of course, fees. So I think it comes yeah. out to $33 for four tickets. Okay. So that's a deal. It is a deal. Yeah, we want to make it you know, a family friendly day as far as what they experience, but also in their wallets. Yeah. You know, to yeah. walk through the gate and spend $60 before you've even bought a drink. Right. Or played a game or, or bought a t-shirt. Right. Yeah. So, right. and um, that was really important to me. Yeah. yeah. Well, buy those tickets at a discount. Mm -hmm. Take that extra money. Take it to Troy Fest because there's going to be a lot of ways for you guys to continue to give back to Rhythm Changes. We did interview uh, Brandon... Yes. Uh, earlier, you know, when the show started, and um, yeah, I think it's a it's a great uh, great opportunity for people to give back. We really keep kids playing music too, and with Frederick County, you know, fighting to to keep music in schools, mm. we're all with that too because after school. You know, kids want to do sports, they want to take lessons, and that's always the first thing off the table yeah. when people have to cut back on expenses. Sure. And everything's, yeah. you know, crazy expensive these days. It is. So, it yeah, is. we're all about just helping out the community and giving back. We have great vendors. Um, where, who are the food trucks this year? We have Blue's Pizza, we have Smitty's Barbecue, mm -hmm. okay. and we have Pita King. Okay. Yeah, so a nice All right. variety All for everybody. All are anxious to come and work with us. And we're excited about that. <laughs> what was the attendance last year? Do you know? Last year we had over 500 throughout nice. the day. You know, the capacity of the venue is probably 660-ish. Okay. But people come and go all sure. day. Because, you know, the kids' bands are playing, so families will come and spend a few hours. And then as the night goes on, you know, with the more prominent bands, sure. people come from as far as, I had a gentleman call me from Baltimore the other day, and he said, I love Jaw Works, and I saw Troy Fest on their event schedule, and my daughter's name is Troy. Oh, wow. And I told him about it, and he's like, I'm coming. Oh, this is very great. cool. So yeah. that feedback, I think, keeps us going. The local restaurants are doing a gift card raffle featuring local restaurants in our area, and they've been so generous. So we're still collecting gift cards for that. Okay. We're going to be picking a gift card winner every hour, um, you know, and then we also have our Capital One tickets. So we have VIP ticket packages for Capitals and Wizards. So that's parking, all you can eat, all you can drink for four. You pick the game. We also have a signed Capitals um, hockey stick, uh, a signed Tom Wilson jersey. Now, are all of those things raffled, or are they silent auction? Those are raffled, oh. yeah. So we do one big pot, and we pick five winners. And oh. those will be picked um, the week after our event, so September okay. 14th. But those tickets are selling now. Yeah. 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 So Very we have cool. great raffles that people come back for. And if they can't make the event, they can still buy raffle tickets, and they can still buy beer. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> That's right. All right. Troy Fest. Make sure you check Eventbrite, get your tickets. It's going to be a great day with tons of live music all day long. It benefits a great cause and helps kids right here in Frederick County. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. All right. I want to thank Kat and Chris for joining me to talk about Troy Fest. That's a great event, September 7th. All right, quick break, then we're back with Haythin telling me about the refresh happening at Fratelli's in Middletown and our new travel segment, Local Compass, your guide to worldwide travel, sponsored by Antietam World Travel Service. 
And that is all coming up right after this. The Crab Shop is open. Join Habitat for Humanity of Frederick County, Maryland for the 9th Annual Blue Crabs and Blueprints Celebration on Saturday, August 24th at the Walkersville Carnival Grounds. This family-friendly day includes crabs from JB Seafood, food trucks, live music, and yard games. This fun-filled day supports Habitat's home repair and home build programs, making a difference year-round right here in Frederick County. Crabs must be pre-ordered by August 19th, so don't delay. Get your crabs now for this Maryland-style crab feed. Dream Free Art, Frederick's first and only splatter room. New location, new beginner-friendly art for shenanigans for all ages. Come sling paint and make a masterpiece in Dream Free Art Splatter Room or join us for a fun and unique art experience. Book your next birthday party, corporate event, date night, or family outing at dreamfreeart.com to unleash your inner artist today. Dream Free Art. Free your creativity. ANS Construction, a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business, and it's right here in Frederick. ANS Construction specializes in roofing and siding. They also do windows and gutters and can even refurb or build you a new patio or deck. Give them a call, 301-703-2157, or email info at ansconstruction.net. You get $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs because you watch this show, Good Morning Frederick. Tell Sandra that Danny sent you and you saw her on Good Morning Frederick when you go. ANS Construction. All right, I'm excited to partner with Antietam World Travel Service to bring you Local Compass, your guide to worldwide travel. Every month, we'll chat with one of the experts from Antietam World Travel Service. Today, I chat with Alexandra Bond. Here it is. Time for Local Compass, your guide to worldwide travel. Sponsored by the experts of everything travel, Antietam World Travel Service. I'm here with Alexandra Bond. It's Antietam World Travel Service. Now we're going to be doing some regular updates about um, maybe some trips and things that people yeah. might want to mm -hmm. go to. But first, we kind of want to introduce you to the Good Morning Frederick audience. Yes. So Alexandra has been here for how long? Since 1994. <laughs> <laughs> November 1994, long, yep. I've been here since the 90s. That's a so long time. Yeah, long it'll be time. 30 years this yeah. November. Congratulations yep. on that. Yeah. Let's tell everybody why it is important to have uh, somebody like you help them put together their travel. Well, um, we do different things. We do everything from airline tickets to hotel reservations near and far. Mm -hmm. um, we do Amtrak tickets, but we also do complex itineraries, mm. Europe, worldwide cruises. Um, so we have the expertise to put together a multifaceted trip yeah. rather than just a cruise. We also make sure that the airfares, the transfers, travel insurance, right. sightseeing options, that that is all covered. Yes. And so we are basically, our motto is that we are with you from the beginning, during, and after travel. And that's really important on all kinds of travels, but mm -hmm. specifically overseas travel because yes. Sometimes things happen yeah. and, and you it's great that they can call you up and say, oh my gosh, what do we do? Right. Yeah. yeah. And in addition, I mean, we, we're not here 24 hours a day, but we do have support through 24-hour hotlines, mm. whether it's a tour company, a cruise line, um, where clients can also go. Yeah. Um, and then we have an in-house 24-hour um, emergency line yeah so um and we're pretty proactive i mean nowadays it's so much easier because you know if a snowstorm comes a couple of days before <laughs> right we can be proactive in our um technical facets of our office we have actually a database where we can pull very instantly 
clients that might be traveling in a specific region on a specific date so we can be proactive. Oh, wow. So you know With contacting them, coming. right, and That's watching airline good. tickets or, yeah. you know, schedules or, you know, if there's a strike, we can actually pull anybody that's flying on that airline for that specific time frame. Yeah. So, and that stuff is happening all the time around yes. the world. So, yes, yes. I've yes. been. I've been in Rome when there was a taxi <laughs> strike, and that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so that's really great to mm -hmm. have on your side when you're traveling. Right. I would say even for something as simple as a cruise, right. even though it's, it's not very complex, you guys have the experience of which excursions you might want right. to do. And like you say, getting to the port and getting from the port back right. to your hotel or to your airline. Yeah. And we have also a way of when a client says, you know, I want to go on a Caribbean island cruise, but... I don't know who, when. We can actually go into our database and search multiple cruise lines at the right. same time for a specific date range yes. and whatever. So we have the way of recommending something too right. based on what the client is looking for, if they want something more family and kid friendly or if they want more adult, small ship, large ship, yeah. um, destiny driven. So yeah. there's a lot of things that we can do yeah. rather than going on 18 websites. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and while it's not necessarily about any cost savings, because sometimes you can get cheaper, but you're not, not going to get, yeah. but you're not going to get the experience that you guys have right. with the uh, suggestions and recommendations. Right. Uh, goodness only knows sometimes yeah. when you're on some websites what you're getting. Exactly. And we know when we use Antietam yeah. World Travel Service that you're getting your expertise plus the company right. that backs and it. And we also are very, um, you know, selective with our suppliers. Mm. We make sure, um, normally prices are the same across the line. Right. You have to compare apples with apples. That's sure. the biggest thing. Um, but we also make sure that we use suppliers that back up the reservations that, you know, there's no oversold sold hotel or something like that. Right. And that we also can trust them to deliver the product yeah. that they're offering. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is too, because we're a virtuoso agency, we actually have extra amenities. Ooh. So um, for instance, if you take a hotel like the Salamander in Middleburg, Virginia, we have, that's a virtuoso hotel. So when we book it, we can get complimentary breakfast, possible upgrade, maybe a resort credit Ooh. and the same thing with cruise lines yes. we can maybe sometimes get a shipboard credit maybe a specialty dinner is included maybe a spa credit so these are extra amenities that you cannot go get when you're Just going directly to the cruise line oh we love that yeah. all right what is your favorite place to travel to alexander i know you haven't been in this industry for all these years without having some places so, you'd love to go so probably my two highlights were south africa and <gasps> thailand i want to go to south africa yeah the, okay. the safari definitely and yes. i definitely want to do another safari in east africa um i loved egypt that was one of my very first trips oh, when i started working wow um but I also just enjoy, you know, Caribbean to relax. Yes. Um, and I love Europe. So I'm, I'm German. I still travel to Europe quite a bit. Nice. So I always try to tag on yeah. something <laughs> when I visit family. I love it. I love yeah. it. All right. If there's one thing you'd like our viewers to know about Antietam World Travel Service, what would it be? I think that we really care about our clients. And it shows that we actually have third generation clients that are still <laughs> traveling with us. Yes. We tend to get the honeymoons from the clients where they say, oh, my parents have used you for so many years and now we're getting married. And then they're coming back and they're doing a Disney trip oh, right. and then they're going on an anniversary trip. Yes. And so it continues. So that shows too um, that we're very loyal to our clients and our clients are very loyal to us. Um, the other thing is too, the longevity of the employees. I yes. mean, yes. all of us are 20 plus experience in yes. years 
and most of us have been with the same company for years and years. Yes, that says a lot, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. It yeah. absolutely does. With the experience that you guys have, how mm -hmm. do you learn about some of these new locations and places to go? So there's different things. We have local workshops. We have a lot of webinars we can do. Um, we do certifications on a regular basis with tour suppliers, cruise lines. But then we also get to sometimes do a study tour where we actually go on a trip to learn about the destination, visit hotels in the different areas mm. and learn about the difference in hotels. And then I have the privilege of actually with a few others from our company to go to Las Vegas on Friday oh. for an entire week. So Virtuoso Travel Week is in its 36th year. Holy cow. And it's 5,000 travel advisors along with suppliers worldwide. So I get to meet with hoteliers, suppliers, cruise lines, tour companies, um, and technical companies from all over the world. Well, that's and cool. That it, yeah, and to make these connections and network, there's gonna be workshops for training, there's um, technology workshops that mm. we can learn about, and so it's an amazing and long- I was gonna say, it's probably, you're yeah, it's immersed an, in, in the whole thing. Yeah, it's an entire week of worship, you know, just yeah. workshops and yeah. meetings and everything, but it's very well worth it. Well, I guess you walk away with that, kind of being able to go one place and seeing hundreds, if not thousands right. upon items that you can pass along to right. your clients. And the biggest thing is to just make that connection. Yeah. I mean, I just had it the other day. I had, um, I think, 15 people leaving on Sunday to go to Punta Cana. And I was invited to a dinner last week down in Annapolis. And I met the sales manager for the hotel. So I was able to introduce my clients so they know they're coming. They made sure that the rooms are near each other. So it's kind of a mm, wonderful thing yes. to do these connections. And I think that's probably what is the most important thing to make these connections oh, and yes. have, you know, that you can call in a favor every once yes, in a while. Yes, that's exactly right. Because sometimes mm -hmm. it's not what you know, it's who right. you know, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And so when you can pick up the phone yeah. and get that direct connection for your clients, right. that's worth every... Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're looking to book any sort of travel, contact Antietam World Travel Service. We're going to be doing a monthly segment with Alexandra and the team here at Antietam World Travel Service to find out the hot places to go or if you're looking to get away. This is the best place to come, and it's right here yeah. on Yellow Springs Road, Rosemont Avenue area right here. Yes. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Great advice. And it's so nice to have an advocate on your side when you're traveling, because uh, anytime you're far away from home, oh, it's so nice to be able to pick up the phone and say, help, we need to fix something up. So they can do that for you there. All right. Let's talk about who is making our market happen. Market Makers, sponsored by the Great Frederick Fair, coming September 13th to 21st. Tickets on sale for the concerts. They are having Flo Rida, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Tracy Lawrence with Sarah Evans, Beach Boys, Riley Green, and Casting Crowns. Go get your tickets right now, greatfrederickfair.com. All right, Fratelli's of Middletown is closed, but don't panic. It's temporary while they give the old girl a facelift. I stopped by to chat with owner Hathen Clark about this fabulous restaurant, a gem of Frederick County. Here is Hathen. Two. Okay. <laughs> um, Action. I would Hathen Clark, and we are in the bar area of Fratelli's, looking a little bit different than it did a couple weeks ago. That's right. But only, uh, hopefully, a couple weeks to go until you're open again. Only, hopefully, a few more days until we're open again. A few more days. That's right, yeah. They are working right along. So, Fratelli's in Middletown, you've been open for about six years? It'll be six years in December. Six years mm -hmm. this December. You've been serving up amazing food to Thank the you. Frederick area for Thank that six-year period. 
and you've decided to give the restaurant a little refresh. That's right, that's right. You know, we always like to keep things new, keep things fresh for our guests. You know, we have 10,000 people a month come through our doors, so over time stuff gets beat up, and um, yeah, every once in a while we just like to do a little facelift. Those so. are extraordinary numbers. Yeah, 10, th yeah, we're I mean, fortunate. there's some, there's some, I don't know, theme parks that I don't think get <laughs> 10,000 people a month, but coming for dinner here at Fratelli's is even better than a theme park. You we guys have a have... lot of support in the community here. Yeah. We're very fortunate for that. So. Yeah, well, we absolutely love it. I don't think there's a crab cake lover on this <laughs> side of uh, the Chesapeake that hasn't been here to enjoy your wonderful crab cakes and the pasta is just amazing. Thank you. You guys, uh, you know, continually refresh and update the menus. Anything uh, changing when you guys reopen or everything will be kind of the same for now until seasonally things change? Yeah, I don't think there'll be anything uh, huge change wise. We are uh, tweaking the wine list a little bit. So we'll have some new wines, some new signature cocktails coming Ooh. in. Uh, we did recently actually add a filet imperial and New York strip imperial to the menu. So those are gonna have our uh, hand cut filet or New York Strip, it's going to be topped with a portion of crab cake, our homemade imperial glaze, and then it's going to be actually topped with some uh, lobster meat on top of oh there as well. Oh my so, gracious. Yeah, for the uh, seafood lovers out there. <laughs> seafood surf, steak lover, surf yes. Surf and turf. Surf and turf. <laughs> and the right. desserts here, amazing. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, very popular. Yes, I can imagine. You I know. save room for dessert. Yeah, I was just <laughs> going to say, you got to... You got to take your box that's, that's early. That's the pro move at Fratelli. That is yeah. the pro move. If you've been here before, you know you ask for the box, right. scoop that's it right. up, and get that or dessert. Or stop by at like 9.30 p.m. and just get desserts one day. Oh, you know? just there you go. come by for a late dessert and a drink or something. You can do that too. I love it. I love it. So no real change to the number of seats in the house or any of that. Uh, bar is getting a nice little refresh though yeah and the bar is probably the biggest uh i would say focus of the work that we're doing here so yeah. the bar will look completely different um but yeah it is just a cosmetic uh type thing for yeah. the most part uh same seating capacity and everything but yeah definitely a lot new finishes um it'll look nice awesome all yeah. right so right now you guys are hopefully going to open Monday the 19th, Monday. which I know it's hard to envision that with the way it looks right now, but um, you've got these a guys, team working hard. These guys are sure. working around the clock here right now to get yeah. it done. Well, so. it, even I was here just a couple days ago and it even looks way more progressed than it did then. So I know that they're working hard. We're getting there. You are getting there. <laughs> All right. For Telly's in Middletown, make sure now you guys take are you taking reservations now for the reopen yet, or we are? Happening? We're being a little cautious with Be early sure. next week, but yeah, we can. Uh, we're going to open up reservations on our website as soon as we have a reopen date, okay. and anything after about next week, you can do online or just call the restaurant. We'll be happy to take that reservation. Well, there you for go. You. Yeah. Get your seat at the refreshed Fratelli's in Middletown. Thank you so much. Thank you. It. Have a great day. Oh yes, ten thousand people a month. He should be on tourism Frederick County's like number one list. That is unbelievable. I, I just can't even fathom those numbers. I'm telling you, it's no wonder their staff is long-term. Hardly anyone ever leaves uh, because of that. But uh, anyway, get to fratellispasta.com, make your reservations for the opening and uh, get yourself some amazing food. All right, coming up tomorrow, Leanne for Perennial Clay and Garden, a new shop on West 2nd Street. Jean Wright, author of Selling Your Confidence. And Lauren March, personal chef from Family Eats. Don't forget about the 100 Show Survey. You can find it at Good Morning Frederick uh, Facebook page. And please, tell a friend about Good Morning Frederick. Have an amazing day. Let's get out there and let's be great. Frederick. Come down.